Woo! This is where we do our water testing for the bikes. So I just arrived at the factory and heard that the guys are doing what we call a monsoon test. We blast the bike with water for 45 minutes straight from every single angle and simulate a few different conditions to make sure that it can endure and withstand even in the harshest conditions. All right, so here it is. This is the monsoon chamber. That's where the water testing happens. And our guys have already rolled up the bike into the chamber and the test has just started. If we take a closer look, you can see that there's four showers pointing at the bike, two on the sides, one at the top, one in the front. The first phase is about having the bike on the side stand stationary in water for 15 minutes. And that's what we see here happening now. Next, what we're going to be testing is uh, charging in rain. So the water has stopped. We're now going to put the charging cable in and turn the water back on. We'll see what happens. So as you can see, charging has started and now it's time to get the water back on. We want to make sure that all the functions of the bike, be it standing, riding or charging, work properly while in the rain. So this is what we're simulating here now. We're setting up phase three, which is we're lifting the rear wheel in the air. We're going to simulate riding conditions. So it's going to be operating at 50 kilometers per hour for 15 minutes in the water. So we get this question a lot about like how does the motor work in water or what happens if it if you ride in the rain and I think you have the answer there no problems it just works Phase 3 is done and we're moving to phase 4 which is again charging so what we're doing here is we're simulating kind of a daily cycle of the bike use so first we start with it parked, then we charge it, then we ride it for uh, 15 minutes with the 50 kilometers per hour, and then we reverse, we go back to charging and then we go back to parking. So that's the five phases that we're simulating in the monsoon chamber. And now it's time for phase four. Bike is plugged in, it's charging, one minute of charging in the water, and then we move to the last phase. We're gonna end charging, releasing the cable, and it's time for phase five. For the final time, the water is on. It's gonna be on for the next 15 minutes. The bike is stationary on its side stand, simulating parking conditions. After this, the test will be over. It's been 45 minutes of blasting water at the bike. We've simulated parking, charging, riding, and then charging and parking again. And I'd say it's a pretty comprehensive test. And the reason we do these tests is we want to make sure that every single customer bike that goes out there into the real world meets our quality standards. So if you ever find yourself in the rain, now you'll know that you can trust your Verge TS Pro, even in the harshest conditions. Mm -hmm.